here. I just got done painting this car here recently. I've allowed the sun to cure it and bake the paint. Uh, I've used 1500 grit water sandpaper. I've used 2000 after that, and then I went to 3000 grit. I went to Harbor Freight and I purchased this uh, six inch random orbiter polisher. It came with this pad. Uh, this pad you only want to use with your rubbing compound. And that's what I have here, the 3M Perfect your rubbing compound. You'll use that for your first stage of polish. And once you go over it with your first stage, you may think that it's shiny enough, but uh, after you sit it out in the sun for the day, it'll start to haze back. You've got to go over it after this compound with a second, which is gonna be a machine glaze. After you get the machine glaze done, you go over hand glaze, and you'll use different pads for each time you, you polish. So uh, I'm gonna start. I've got my compound. I'm just gonna put a little line there on my polishing pad. I've set my RPM at 3000 here. I'm just gonna put a couple little blotches. I'll go up and down. And then I'll go side to side. Now you wanna make sure you don't put your buffer on any of the edges for too long, because if you do, it'll burn through the paint. And you'll have to have some either touch up to fix it or have to repaint the panel. It's good to always start off slow and then accelerate your speed of your buffer as you go along. And you don't want to start in too large of an area. That's why I'm just going over this small area right here. Now this right here is the first step stage to it. I went ahead, I've done it going up and down, side to side. I'm gonna get my microfiber. And when you wipe off the residue from the compound, you'll see that shine coming through. Alrighty, now on your second step, you have your 3M machine polish. Now on the machine polish, you're gonna be using a different pad. Um, your pad is gonna be softer as you go. So on the polish for that, you'll remove your pad that you've used for the compound. And you'll put your new pad on for your second step. All right, now I've got my new pad for my second step, which is the 3M 39061 machine polish. And once you've got this process done, which I'm only showing you this in a small scale, I would normally do the whole entire car with the first stage of compound. You get this, after shaking it up, you wanna put a little bit on your pad. And again, you just wanna kinda of just daub it around in the area that you're gonna polish. And on this one, it's gonna be the same step. down the buffer and then side to side. Take your microfiber and wipe off any of the residue and dust that may have appeared from your compound drying. Alrighty, and there we have it. Uh, it may be hard to see on camera, but it's actually got a deeper shine with the stage two. And now once you've got your stage two on, you're gonna go with your last stage. All right, now just like the previous two steps, you have your number three, which is labeled number three, 39062, 3M Perfected. And this is ultra fine machine polish. I always call it hand glaze because a lot of times I'll use this to go over it by hand. 
But this will be your third step, and with your third step, you'll also be using a different pad. And this pad right here is actually more finer than the other previous pads. All right, now just like my previous two steps, you're gonna make sure you shake up your bottle, and you're gonna just add a small line there to your pad. And again, you're just gonna just put a little, few little places by dabbing the pad. And then on this one, you're going over it, and this will be your last step for buffing your car. So we're gonna be doing the same motion, up and down and side to side. I've got my RPM set to 3,000, but you can do it at any speed you wish, just whatever you feel more comfortable with. 3,000 seems to work very fine for me, so. That's what it's for. And this is a black car. This car's paint code is actually jet black, so there's no other pigments in it but black. Another thing's real nice. These right here, the uh, random orbiters, tend to not leave any swirl marks. All right, that's my last step and final step. Take your microfiber, and you're just gonna wipe off all the residue, just like the, the steps prior to, to this last one. And once you've completed this on your whole entire car, you can take your spray-on detailer or wax, and you can go ahead and detail the whole car and any little uh, excess uh, compound that you may, <clears throat> excuse me, any excess compound that you may see inside your, your door jams or around any edges, you can go ahead and you can get, get those wiped off with some spray detailer, which I like to use McGuire's. I just got finished water sand buffing it last night. There's the bumper there that is illuminated. It lights up at night through the Cobra, which I show you in another video. But uh, I'm fairly impressed with it. I think it looks great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little small tutorial video uh, using my Harbor Freight Random Orbiter Buffer. Three different polishing pads and my 3m rubbing compound that's it for this uh small video guys if you need any questions um to ask me don't forget to comment um if i can i'll try my best to uh reply to any comments i may get and that's it for the video don't forget to subscribe and like thanks guys